what we call Parado Daughters, Blight Ship Pilots, Eighth Wall Advertisers, and our beloved Explorers and Wayfinders. Thank you for choosing the Wayspotters podcast. Wayspotters is got to you, brought to you by the good people of the Pokemon Professor Network. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2023. we got a great show planned for you this week. Before we get into that, hey, Jamal, how's it going? Hey, man, how you doing? I'm good, man. I just realized that we have to change our intro again because it's Parado Keepers. Parado Keepers, that's right. Not Daughters. So, I think I said Keepers last week. Somebody out there, keep me honest, I think I changed yeah. it. I think I did, but I don't know if I saved it. So, Parado, key, Parado Keepers. Hey, man, Parado I'm doing keepers, great yes. this week. I, uh, I've been playing with this little guy all week. So for our audio listeners, I'm holding up my uh, my Pokemon Go, my Plus Plus. I'm holding it up and shining in all its glory. And what's cool about this, uh, for a lot of you, you know that for years, Jamal was Team Gotcha. And I was like proudly flaunting the Gotcha. And um, I, I finally decided that it was time to go street legal. And I need to put out a tweet <laughs> to let everybody know that I am street legal. I am TOS friendly. I am all in. I can, I can go to, to, to go fest and like proudly show my plus plus and not have to wear a long sleeve shirt in 90 degree weather. Cause I got on my gotcha. And um, yeah, so that that's how I'm doing this week. Cool, man. That's good. Yeah. I got mine. Uh, mine was delivered the first day and it's on the other side of the room. Cause that thing is loud. Oh my God. It's so loud. And it's like being in a disco with the lights yeah. and everything <laughs> shining and all that. <laughs> my wife says to me, it doesn't do that when you're sleeping. Do you? I'm like, no, you can't. No. <laughs> yeah. I had it in the car when I was driving with my wife and she was like, what is going on? She's like, something is like buzzing and blinking. And I was explaining it to her. She was like, didn't you have a watch thing that did that? And the watch was quiet. It. I'm like, yeah, and I tried to explain to her why. She was like, just if it's gonna do all that, just go back to the watch because it was quiet <laughs> and I never heard it. And this thing is just buzzing in your pocket all the time. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm trying yeah. to explain to her TOS, and we're trying to be good partners with Niantic, and we can't even say the word gotcha. We got to say Voldemort. Yeah. So anyhow, you got news for us this week, man. I do have a little bit of news this week, yes. Yeah. So let's right, play let's the hear, sounder. Let's, let's hear from Teststone. And now, the latest Niantic news from the Wayspotters podcast, presented by the Pokemon Professor Network. All right. First bit of news. Upgrades were broken again. In May, they experienced the issue with their upgrades from before. Um, they yep. identified the time frame in which they believe that they were broken and they're going to start refunding people that used upgrades that were broken. I think I got a refunded upgrade. So I a random that, yeah. upgrade just yeah. showed up. A random upgrade just showed up and <clears throat> I messaged you and I thought it might have been from the challenge because remember I told right. you I'm pretty sure I was a, a level up from where they get credit credit to me but i'm not making a big deal out of it so a yeah. random upgrade just showed up and i assumed it came from there but it could have come from the upgrades being broken anyhow i got a free upgrade somehow right yeah yeah yeah. it was probably from this um they said that they're gonna start refunding them as soon as today so this was the 17th and they continue to be reimbursed to wayfarer profiles in batches on a weekly basis until they're all delivered so they don't have an end time for that but if you show see a random upgrade show up in your account that's probably why all right so i can say um, i got that that's awesome great news thank you oh i wish that they would they would say hey you've gotten a free upgrade at some point because <laughs> right. people who are using that plugin that tracks the your stats and stuff mm -hmm. it just shows up so then the 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 script thinks that you had a hundred agreements and it throws it, everything off. It throws everything off, right? So you have to go into the settings and, yeah. Uh, what else do we got? Roots were released. Oh, launched, yeah. Officially. Yeah, absolutely. So I am going to be doing a tutorial video at some point, maybe this weekend. If okay. I can get out this weekend. I got a lot going on this weekend, so maybe early next week. But I'm going to do a tutorial video now that they're released and launched. I haven't had a chance to do one yet. 
Mm-hmm. Mine are live in the game. There's one by my work that I was going to go on my lunch and do it real quick, but it started pouring rain. So it didn't oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I was bad. <laughs> like right before I left, too. And I was like, oh, it's had I waited 10 minutes. I'd have been soaked at work and it would not have been fun. <laughs> not have been fun. I have, I've done three. Two of mine are live and one is from June 22nd and it's still pending. Not sure why. But I think today my goal is to go down to the park and do the one I did. Remember, I did it. It was one kilometer. So um, yeah. I'm going to do it twice. Well, maybe if I'm doing it twice. I don't know. Anyways, but I'm going to try to hatch an egg. I'm going to try to do it once and then circle back around. It'll be a nice day. Nice. It, it's hot in Charlotte, man. It's been hot. And yeah. um, we've also had air quality issues because of the Canadian wildfires. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Sorry um, about that. Yeah. yeah. Keep keep your lighters and your torches in your pocket. Stop setting forces on fire. Yeah. No, anyhow, yeah. it's been hot. I haven't really been out a lot because um the air it's been like a yellow haze around, but I am going to go out Ooh. today and try out the roots because I need to get the research for that Zygarde doggy thing. So, yeah. um I'm going to do that and I am going to, like I promised six, seven weeks ago, back out into the forest in my park in that heavily wooded area. There's trail markers out there. So I'm going to see if I can uh, nominate four or five more uh, trail markers back in the deep woods in that park. So I got one turned into a gym and I've been in this gym like nine days and like nobody, people can see it on the map, but they literally have to go hike to go get it. So I'm going to get gold on this gym. So, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to promise everybody, I'm going to go out there and see if I can nominate four or five more way spots back there just to nice. build up the density in this park. That'll bring the people out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the that, only other bit of news. Do you want to talk about that tweet that we saw? Yeah. So, okay. All right. I, I'm going to go on a mini little rant right now. Um, and if you, if, if this hits anybody the wrong way and you feel targeted, I'm sorry, or I'm not sorry, I'm not sure, but you guys all know that I am the, what's a few meters between friends guy. And I'm the, you know, every S 17 needs a POI. But the one thing that I'm not Chris is I'm not a Wayfair abuse guy. Like not at all. Like I, I don't think a Wayfair abuse is the way to go. And what I really do not like at all is the entitled um, mindset that some of the Niantic game players have. And I'm not necessarily pointing my finger squarely at the Harris Niantic movement, because that would be unfair to characterize everybody in that movement as entitled, but there are Mm -hmm. some entitled people in there who think that they should have everything they want, not what the game has designed it to be. And it's now creeped into Wayfair, so it's in my wheelhouse, it's in my backyard, it's in my front yard, and I'm kind of ticked off about it. Yep. So the tweet, you know, I don't even want to mention the person or or the tweet because I don't want to give this person credence um, because I think they're kind of trolly. Um, but there's a tweet out there that, uh, you know, says something to the effect of Niantic has entrusted us, the player base, with so much power in terms of enhancing gameplay with each other. Why did we decide to why did we take this and decide to turn against each other? What if we all came together and agreed to accept all nominations with the reasonable list of exceptions, except the ugly plain benches, except the restaurants, except the individual toys on the playgrounds. Um, and the, the thread goes on and on and on to say, just go into Wayfarer and accept everything, regardless of what it does to the game board, what it does to any other games. And it, it's, it's just not good, Chris. Like, no. I, I really, really don't like this train of thinking. And the reason why I even associated this with the Heroes Niantic movement is the person who posted the tweet posts a lot and hashtags a lot of things about Heroes Niantic. And it just comes down to there's rules, right? It, it, it's like the, you know, if we want to bring in the remote raid thing, like Niantic has made a rule that you can only do a certain amount and it costs a certain amount. Some people are not happy about that and I get it, but there's rules, right? There's rules. If I leave my house and I drive down the road, there's a rule that says I can only go 35 down that road. If I want to go 80 down that road, I can do it, but there's consequences, right? If you do Wayfair abuse, whether that's nomination abuse or whether that's 
review abuse, there's consequences. You can get your account taken away. You can get all of your Niantic accounts taken away. And I think the beauty of Wayfair is as a community, we understand this criteria and so we do our best to follow it. Now, are some people a little more strict and a little more lenient when it comes to the criteria? Yes. Are there some gatekeepers that I'd like to ease up? And are there some people that, that uh, approve everything? Sure. But I reached out to some people at Niantic and let them know that I was not happy with the tweet and I, and I forwarded them the tweet and I let them know that we were going to talk about it this week. So I want to start the conversation with everybody out there on Twitter, on the podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to contact. The Wayspotters podcast does not condone or encourage Wayfair mm -hmm. cheating, Wayfair abuse. Follow the dang criteria. If it deserves to be in the game, don't be a gatekeeper. Let it in the game. And if it doesn't deserve to be in the game, then, then do that too. But this, hey, let's all lock arms and band together and, you know, bully, uh, Niantic Wayfarer and just accept everything, you're just going to make it worse for everybody involved, so don't do it. So that's all I really wanted to say. I, I, I was going to say the person's name and all this, but I don't want to give them any more power than they think they have because it's a terrible idea, and I'm not going to condone it. I'm not going to get on board with any kind of Wayfarer cheating. No, me either. So and that's the they, they, yeah, on that thread, they're just like, oh, let's just have the anti-raid hour and just accept everything in an hour. Every I'm like, really? You're going to get banned. But go ahead. And, you know what? If you want to And that's and a banned, terrible idea because you have to remember Wayfair is more than just Pokemon Go. Wayfair yeah. is Ingress. Wayfair is Pikmin. Sorry, sir, Amanda. Um, but Wayfair is a lot. And, and all of the new games that are going to come out, it's not just Pokemon Go and people who think about it in that are very short-sighted and they don't understand that Niantic has other games and it's a big company and it's a big world and we're trying to make this bigger than just Pokemon Go. And if yeah. you break the rules to, to benefit one game, you're going to hurt other games. So it's just not a good idea. And, and if people want to go on and they want to review legitimately and have like a weekly a review hour, like a raid hour, I'm all for that. Like, I think that's a great idea, but not if you're going to go in <clears throat> and just five-star everything and just throw off the whole balance of the game. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. So that's what I got about that. Uh, back to Roots for a second. Apparently they're broken. <laughs> <laughs> Timestamp uh, it. Uh, 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 July the 21st. Yeah. <laughs> July 21st, 11, 18 a.m. Uh, broken. Uh, I can't create a route, and two of my routes that were previously approved are now rejected. So, mm. including the one by my work, which really sucks. Oh no, that's the one you were going to go in the rain for. Yeah. Oh man. So I'm gonna go check this afternoon to see if it's actually there and actually rejected. But so, if uh, you're listening to this on Sunday and they're still broken, guess what? You heard it here first. They're broken. <laughs> we told you. <laughs> we told you. We told. You. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. All right. We we here at the Way Spotters podcast like to think like to keep things as positive as possible. Um, we like to see the the positivity in the world and in the Wayfarer system, but we're not afraid to hold Niantic's feet to the fire when we have to. It's not often that we dedicate an entire episode to holding Niantic to account, but this is one of those times. I want to talk about the Wayfarer Challenge Rewards, and I know. This this affects you because you didn't get a level that thought that you thought you were going to get right. Mm -hmm. Correct. So Jamal and friend of the show Testone covered some plugins a little while back on a special tutorial episode that is up on YouTube. I will link that in the show notes, and I will put a thing up in the corner, this corner, that corner, that corner, um, for the YouTube watchers. A lot of the ambassadors and a lot of wayfinders use it. And part of that plugin was tracking your challenge nominations that you reviewed, challenge reviews. And a lot of people thought that they made it to a certain level that they were going to get a certain level of rewards. And then when the rewards emails were sent out and the rewards were sent out, a lot of, a lot of people were just like, hmm, that's not right. So they posted in the forums a lot and Niantic kept saying over and over again, no, we're, we're pretty sure that we're right. We're right. We're right. Right. <clears throat> so, 
And people kept saying, no, I don't think you're right. I don't yes. think that's correct. Yeah. Even some of the ambassadors were like, I don't know that you're... And you could tell a lot of the ambassadors didn't want to like push it too far. Right. Because they're ambassadors, right? But a lot of them were just like, no, guys, you're wrong. Like, you are definitely wrong. So, ambassador... I, I don't know how to pronounce this name yeah it's, i always make a joke about the name but yeah t-r-t-m-i-t-n-t-n-n-b-l-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-t-n-
on the map. So they they voted duplicate. No. So, so it was they, on the uh, when you scroll down, it was on the it showed up yep. on the map. Wow. Yep. That's like yeah. a huge glitch. Like that shouldn't that's, happen at all. That's a huge problem. Yeah. So there are a couple of problems with this. If you're taking the time to do a review and you're taking mm-hmm. the time to sit down and I'm going to sit in front of my computer and I'm going to bang out 50 reviews and you're telling me that I don't get credit. Like I spend 15 minutes mm-hmm. researching this, trying to find if it's real and I figure out it's real and it's in the right place and I click submit and 15 minutes of my time, you're going to say wasted. it's wasted, but I don't know that it's wasted. Right. Unless I request my data and I go through and do my own right. analysis of it. So the the problem with that, and I understand why the logic behind it not counting, because what probably it's already is decided. It, it's already decided, right? Yeah. But I think what's happening is this is my my computer programmer brain going into effect here. I think what's happening is you're submitting it, and then the system's like, okay. I'm going to apply it to this nomination. Oh, I can't because it's already resolved. Mm -hmm. And then it never gets to the third step of giving you credit for it. Right. right? So they they should move the giving you credit for it step to right after you hit submit because it doesn't, it shouldn't matter. I spent my time doing it. You, I deserve credit for, it's like, it's like going into work and working for eight hours. And then your boss being like, well, you didn't do enough. So I'm not paying you. Right. Or, or today's or Saturday. Like, or today's Saturday. Right. And we don't pay on Saturday. You right. know, Chris, this is so interesting because I would have never in a million years thought this level down to drill down into it that right. I I hit submit and it was already decided. Like that's a great theory, but I would have would have never thought of it. But the fact yep. that it's showing on the map is 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 wild, right? And that's I, and that's the second problem. The second problem is how many duplicates have we voted on that we're not mm-hmm. duplicates? Right. Right. How mm-hmm. many times have I gone in and clicked something as a duplicate and then a probably not getting, not got credit for the review. Right. And B thought someone out there is just not paying attention. Right. When maybe they are, and I'm reviewing the exact same nomination that it's, you know, it's kind of like an inception kind of thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've actually gotten twice in my life. I have mm-hmm. gotten a rejection email and an acceptance email for something. The same thing. Interesting. Because yeah, was, it got approved. It got approved. Yep. And then somebody else voted on it and, it. and it was a duplicate. It got marked as a duplicate. Yeah. That's very interesting. It was, yeah. And it was, I had to go out to the spot to be like, did this, is this here? Like what, what is going on? Mm-hmm. And one of them is at the Toronto Zoo that I haven't even been back to. And since I did, so I have no <laughs> idea. It's just kind of sitting out in limbo. Yeah. That's very interesting. So it's this is this is a big problem that I think Niantic needs to seriously sit down and take a look at because mm-hmm. if people are doing work and not getting credit for it, it's not good. Now, now, Chris, this would have never come up, correct me if I'm wrong, but this would have never come up if we had not had a challenge where they had to review so many in the challenge in order to get the reward, correct? Correct. So theoretically, theoretically, this has been going on since 2019 when Wayfair launched. Oh, probably. Yeah. I would imagine that this is day one programming that has never been changed. And this has been the case forever. Um, So meaning that theoretically people could have earned at this point, I've done 40,000 reviews in Wayfair. I I theoretically could be owed 20 more upgrades over the course of that time. Yep. Yeah, I'm just just throwing out a raw number, right? Yeah. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually, consider- now that you mentioned that, now that I'm thinking about it, I might request my information and kind of do mm-hmm. my own digging and see Ooh. just how many times this has happened to me. I smell a special episode coming up. I smell a special episode coming up, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to request it and see how long it takes it to, <laughs> right. to get to me, and then I'll let you know. Okay. That, that's very interesting. So this is a great theory that they brought up. Um, you mm. had, there, there was another theory, right? There was two, yeah. So the second okay. theory is inconsistencies in start and end times of the challenge periods. So I noticed this, and I was actually very concerned when it happened. So I happened to be reviewing. So they said, when they finally said, okay, when they first said, 
we're not going to have enough reviews to for the Indian the original country mm-hmm. to right. finish the challenge. Right, we're going to introduce three other countries that we had challenges before. We're just going to go back to those countries. And we're like, cool, mm-hmm. that's a great idea. Yep. Good you job. You gave them huge right? kudos for that. Huge mm-hmm. kudos. And they set out time frames. We're going to switch from this country to this country on this date and this time and blah, blah, blah. And they did for all the way. But what happened was people were so voracious about doing the reviews and hitting that top challenge top level tier. or whatever. Mm-hmm. They had to switch countries early. Right. And then when they switched the first country early, they had to switch to the second country early and, and so forth. I don't, the theory is that Niantic, while they switched the feature country in the review stream, they didn't switch it for recording the challenge votes. So, and there's, okay. there's like, there's, there's credence to this theory too. And I'll get to it in a second. So Brazil was originally supposed to start on June 2nd at 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. It actually started June 2nd at 5.06 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And I was reviewing at that time Mm -hmm. and started getting Brazil reviews. And I was like, why is this happening so early? (laughs) This is weird. And And then it dawned on me, oh, they must have switched early. But like the plugin hadn't been fixed because they time gated it for the channel. Now remember, right? now remember the plugin was unofficial, right? Yes, the and plugin is unofficial. What, I think that's what Niantic would come back and say is a plugin is unofficial. Yes. But I think if we're holding Niantic to account, they didn't fully explain how they were going to change the criteria in which they were giving us credit, right? Because they can yeah. change the time and they can put it in there, but that doesn't mean that people were getting credit for it. So the plugin could have been correct. And and I fully believe that the fl- the plugin was correct. Oh, 100%. Because, yeah. So, okay, continue. Sorry, I just wanted to clarify so they, that. They they fixed the plugin and they changed the dates in the plugin and then it was able to go in and pull all of the Brazil challenge re- reviews that you did early and it credited you appropriately so that the plugin was correct. Right. I don't think Niantic did that. Mm-hmm. And here's here's the biggest piece of evidence that they have. Someone DM'd a Niantic employee about this and they responded, we looked into this data and we stand by our counter. Not all these submissions were voted on during the event. Please note the event was live in Brazil for a definite time interval. Time interval. And then they list the original Brazil times. Mm-hmm. Not the adjusted Brazil Not time. Not the adjusted Brazil time, which could create uh, some confusion. Yep. And then yep. they said the difference in time zones may have created a confusion. And I, I don't think that's what it was. I think that right. they had to flip countries earlier and they did not adjust the time frame in which they were pulling the data for the, the challenge reviews. So, And that's a problem. You know, yeah. that, that that's a big problem because... People around the world, you know, let's just say we're going off of UTC, right? People around the world, I saw on the forums and on Twitter, we're getting up early, we're staying up late, we're waking up in the middle of the night in some parts of the world to do these reviews at that time. And as we saw, what was it, 112,000 were cleared? I mean, people were legitimately doing this. So Mm -hmm. if you got up at, I don't know, 1 UTC, whichever, whatever time that is in your time zone, and you thought you were getting credit for doing something in there, but it was flipped early and you weren't, then you were just kind of doing it for nothing. Now, obviously, you're doing it for the greater good of clearing the Wayfair, but if you were trying to get results in a certain tier, it wasn't happening. Yep. Yep. And, like, that was a six-hour period where people could be (laughs) reviewing challenges that did not get... And that's... You can do a lot of reviews in six hours. You can do a ton of reviews in six hours. Like... Even if you're going like, slow, you can do even it. Even if you're going slow, like hours. that's a ton of reviews you can do yeah. in six hours. So they said the above theories were presented to Niantic. At the time this information was presented to Niantic, ambassadors suggested the following a full investigation of Niantic's challenge counter with the provided data and theories in mind. They're not necessarily saying, hey, my data is like rock solid gold take my theories and and do your own research, right? 
Um, if an issue is identified, communication to the community about what the issue was and how Niantic intends to address the issue, both moving forward and for those affected previously. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be more challenges. In right, if, there's going to be more. If they ignore this, then we're going to have this problem in the next challenge. And if it happens again in the next challenge, then people are going to be like, yo, there's a problem. Well, here's the deal, Chris. The title of this episode, if you're listening, is Holding Niantic to Account, right? So part of that is we need to kind of stop and pause and say, before you start a new challenge, we really deserve a clear answer as yeah. to what happened. If it's, hey, we messed up. You know what? I can take that. I work at a tech company. There's things yeah. that happen there, you know, all the time. It's not like I'm expecting you to get up on the, on the stage and give some long speech. Hey, you know what? We, we, we messed up. We didn't anticipate this happening. We didn't anticipate that happening. Here's what we're going to do to fix it. It won't happen again. We'll give you an upgrade. We'll do this or that. Not looking for some long drawn out, um, yep. you know, apology speech. However, we do need some type of acknowledgement that there was an issue and yes. that they've done something to fix it before they do another challenge. Because if they were to roll out another challenge before acknowledging what happened on this one, they would then be cre they would then be doing malpractice. And I think yep. we need to not only hold Niantic accountable, but we need to make sure that Niantic is listening to their ambassadors who have done a fantastic job. The ambassadors have been absolutely killing it. And the fact that they are leading the charge with this, they need to listen to their ambassadors and they need to get back to people and let them know what happened. Because right now, out of all the Niantic properties, Niantic has the most goodwill and they need to use that right now. Say, hey, we made a mistake. Here's what we're going to do about it. Not just keep going. If you made a mistake, just say it. We're all human. We yeah. understand. Computers break. Somebody plugs in the wrong number. It happens. Let's just get it fixed and move on. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. 100%. And and that's the that's the big thing, right? They, they, they very easily with the... Like you said, with the with the goodwill that they have, they can say, "Hey, our ambassadors have done some research, some some really good work. Let us know there was an issue. We've investigated it on our end. We found that 100 percent there was an issue where we didn't think we had one. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. We've rerun the numbers. We're gonna resend out rewards to whoever missed whatever tier that they were at, and we're gonna fix it going forward. So that the next challenge, we don't have this problem. Right, 100 um, percent." 100%. I want to link this post in the show notes because they said, if you felt you did not receive the correct rewards, we are eager to hear from you. Please post here and share with anyone in your respective communities who may be affected. So if you, we're going to link this in the show notes. If you feel that you did not get the level of rewards that you should have got, go and reply to that post. The more people who reply to that post, the more replies it will have, obviously. And then the higher up, it'll keep getting bumped to the top. And they just, hopefully Niantic can't ignore it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's one caveat here. There was, there was an issue with some of the emails that went out that said, you got this tier, but you actually got the rewards for the tier you were supposed to get. Right. So that's, that's not including this. They... They acknowledged mm -hmm. that that was an that, issue and that the, yeah, some people got issue. the rewards that they were supposed to. That's a separate issue. Um, but yeah, if you feel that you were shorted or slighted there, then definitely go and reply to that post and the ambassadors will kind of compile that information and keep feeding it to Niantic. <clears> and hopefully with enough people, they can they can stop ignoring it because it kind of feels like they're ignoring it at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um... I think this is an opportunity for them to earn some goodwill, right? Uh, yeah. There's people yeah. out there that think Nyan that think Wayfair is a joke, which kind of ticks me off. They think, oh, everything gets, everything gets, you know, rejected. But the people who are like legit into Wayfair and understand the system and and follow the rules, this is a chance for Niantic to impress upon them that hey, we're going to make things right. This is what happened. We're going to make it right. So I think they've got a huge opportunity now to show the legit explorers and wayfinders that they found a problem and they fixed it. And I'm hoping that they do the right thing. Yeah, me too. Completely agree. So that's that. Uh, topic number two. I wasn't sure if we were going to have time for topic number two, but it looks like we will real quick. We're efficient, uh, man. We're a well-oiled we well machine. <laughs> we are getting very efficient, yes. Hey, um, although apparently, Chris, apparently... 
Ken does all the work for us. He does all the research. <laughs> he runs the show. So um, he's digging so, through all the coals every week. He's digging through all this and he's reviewing. He's he's, he's on the he's on the forums for hours. So uh, <laughs> I, I guess I that's why we're so efficient. All we do is talk, right? I all we do is talk. I am super excited to send uh, Ken all of the video files this week and have him do my editing for me. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then he can go and do all the audio editing and and, and clean everything up. So I'm Ooh. glad that he's volunteered to do that. So um, <laughs> that was yeah, that made me laugh. Uh, just God, what did I, aside, what did I it, say to that uh, to that grade A class? Or I don't remember what I said. I said something kind of snarky, but yeah, Chris and I don't do any work on this show. It's all nope. Ken. No. Nope. Just as an aside, it's like six hours of editing for the video, at least every week. So <laughs> right. this doesn't this doesn't put itself together. I know, right? Yeah, that, that tweet yeah. made me laugh. Yeah. I was just yeah. like, you have so yeah, I guess we can't talk about being ethical because uh nope. you know, any anyhow, anyhow. <laughs> Twitter Twitter is its own animal, right? And yep. can can I can I have two minutes, Chris, to talk Absolutely. about this real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Twitter is its own animal, and I think I understand now why Niantic Wayfair only communicates changes on the forum, because Twitter is a freaking cesspool, right? Look at what we just talked about earlier today. Twitter, like you get an idea on Twitter, and it just spreads kind of like a virus. Mm -hmm. So anytime the Pokemon Go app tweets something, like people take it over and want to ratio it. I still don't understand the whole Twitter ratio thing. I think I'm an old guy. I'm going to need somebody to explain what ratio means. Anyways, but there's a, there's a very popular content creator who said something kind of out of turn about Wayfair and it was bad. And it's just one of those Twitter things where Twitter is like, ah, and, and, and and so I, I give, I got to give Niantic Wafer credit for staying off of Twitter, but I'm on Twitter a lot. And that's how our podcast, you know, mainly connects with people other than our Patreon and our Discord. Uh, But they might be the smartest people in the industry by not tweeting. (laughs) I mean, really think about it. Yeah. Yeah. But because they have more control over the forums, they have a moderator over the forums. There is no moderator on Twitter. Twitter is moderated by the, by the Bob. Um, but Niantic might be the smartest or Wayfair, excuse me, might be the smartest people in the industry that they've created their own forums and they, and they put out their information there. Um, whenever something comes out, the only time it hits Twitter is when one of us puts it on Twitter or, you mm-hmm. know, something, but they, they might be onto something. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah. and I, yeah. I, yeah, because if, if the Wayfair team starts tweeting stuff, they're just gonna, the Pogo people are just going to be like. Hashtag heroes thing. I take be like, and it's funny when people post Pogo stuff in the in the Wayfarer forums. They're just like, yeah, go talk to the Pogo team. Yeah, go I talk to the Pogo team. Go talk. To you the Pogo re- team. you rejected my mailbox in front of my house. Hashtag heroes Niantic. Uh, that's not eligible. <laughs> like <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, I put up a swing set in my backyard, and it should be a park. Hashtag heroes Niantic. Uh, bro, <laughs> that's PRP. I mean, I I, I yeah. don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I. I probably need to be more diligent and spend more time on the forums. I know you do the Lord's work and you're on the forums all the time and you're am, sending yes. me this and that. And I stay on Twitter uh, partly because maybe I'm a, I've got a little bit of Ken Pescatore in me and I like to mix it up and fight with people and call people jackasses on Twitter <laughs> and say, Hey, what you want to say something negative to me? Here's my phone number. Call me. And then they never call. Yeah, I, I saw that. I'm yeah. Like, I'm sitting here with my phone. I'm like, I sent this jackass my phone number. I'm like, you want to say that? Call me. Let's talk about it. We'll have a legit conversation on the phone. Mm -hmm. Call me. Guess what? They never call. They just want to sit there and call people names on Twitter. They don't want any personal interaction. I'm like, I'll take a phone call. I'll set up a Zoom call. We can talk Mm -hmm. about this. Maybe we can come to some resolution. Maybe if you're coherent, we might even invite you to come on the show, but you're afraid to call because you want to be a keyboard tough guy. Yep. Instead of just calling my cell phone. So, anyways, all right, that's my two minutes. Back to you, Chris. Topic. <laughs> all right. No, hundred <laughs> percent. It's, it's Twitter is is a bit of a mess sometimes, and I am. I think we're more than happy to take some bullets for the Wayfair team to get information out there. So, sure, absolutely. I, I take can, my. I, I catch stay the, all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Topic number two. Niantic review. 
I I am not too sure that it's Niantic employees doing Niantic reviews. I'm just gonna. Who do you think it is? I don't know. I think that they're outsourcing <laughs> some of these reviews, or either they're outsourcing the reviews, or they're wait, wait, giving wait, wait, these. Wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna say AI? Is that what you're gonna say? Ah, uh, yeah. I think it might be. Might be. They mm. might be botting some of these. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Continue. So, I also think that perhaps maybe they are just giving these to anybody who works for Niantic, regardless. <laughs> of hey, Johnny, down the hall, come here. Yeah. Don't you work? Isn't NBA going away? Hey, come here. I want you to review the. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this, Johnny. Come here. So yeah. Log in right there, Johnny. You got it. Yeah. Three stars, four stars, five stars. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Sorry. I was talking to Johnny there. So, and, it's, and it's Johnny needs to read the criteria because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, two things. Niantic said, hey, guys, we want basketball courts. We don't care where they are. Basketball courts. Give us basketball mm -hmm. courts. Basketball courts on school grounds, good. Previously, bad. Now, good. So, I was mm -hmm. like, cool. I went out onto a couple high schools. I didn't do any elementary schools. A couple of high right. schools and was like, basketball courts. Schools. And they all got rejected. Mm -hmm. One of them got approved, which was hilarious because now it's just stop him, Pogo. I have to go report. Oh, it, it went into Pogo. Oh, oh, it went into Pogo. Oh, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, <laughs> and so it was only supposed to like, go into NBA. It, the whole thing was very frustrating, and they, they were just like, "Don't worry, we'll do the voting." And then they never did. Right. So I right. appealed a couple of them, and I even put in my appeal, "This is what you wanted." I did this because you said that you wanted me to do this. Yep. You, then someone rejected it because it went into general voting. That's fine. But now I'm sending it to you, Niantic, the people who said that they want this. Fix this. And they were like, no, it's on school grounds. <laughs> You're like, but I can show you the message from Tintino on the forums where he said. Yeah. And I, I linked it in my supporting information. Oh, right. Man. And in my appeal information and they still right. rejected it. So I sent it to Ken and I'm like, can you, can you like maybe email because please help me with this. And then he got it fixed. <laughs> so they were, they were fixed. Right. Because right? somebody at Niantic was like, Oh crap. So that tells yeah. me that nobody on the Wayfair team looked at that. Mm -hmm. Not a single right. person. Yep. Right. Because they would have yep. known. Nobody. It was from the Johnny. NBA. Johnny. Hey, it was Johnny. Bad Johnny. Johnny. It was, it was right. Johnny in accounting. Yes, right Johnny or accounting. or Johnny or the or Billy the graphic designer for Pikmin Bloom, right? <laughs> right. It was yeah. People who have no business doing this stuff, mm -hmm. right? And then so second thing, second thing that's really annoyed me, right? Fire hydrants. There are seven fire hydrants downtown in my hometown, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm outing myself by saying this, and I've put it on the forum, so I'm going to talk about that in a second. I went and reported two of them because I just mm -hmm. happened to be. I close remember. enough to two of them when I was downtown. So reported them for blocking emergency services because the whole point of a fire hydrant is so a fire truck can hook up to it yes. and spray water on a fire. Right? Regardless if you've painted it to look like Pikachu or right. Megatron or that does not matter, it is still emergency services. Both of those reports got rejected. Interesting. Yeah. I thought maybe the first one was just kind of like a glitch or something, but both of them got rejected. And I I don't understand why. You're sending us mixed messages. Because You're saying, I don't want stuff that blocks emergency services. But then when I report it, you you don't care? Like, I just, I don't, it confused me. Because even a day one intern should know that blocks emergency services. Right. Like that. It's clear as day yep. that that blocks emergency services. Yep. A hundred percent. Right. So, yeah. And then here's my other problem with all this. So you do your appeal, you do your, and especially reports. Like if I'm reporting something that I want taken off the game board, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want that publicly advertised in my area. Right, because that mm -hmm. could be dangerous. Because there are people in some areas who will get very upset. Why are you taking my Pokestops away? Right. <clears throat> Why are you taking my portals away? Why are sleeping, you like, yeah? Don't don't bother a sleeping dog, a sleeping baby, or a right. POI that's not bothering you. 
Right. And, and I've seen it before. Like I, I've had stuff removed and then people on the discord or on, on the local chats were just like angry. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to find out whoever did this and they're going to be sorry. And I'm just like, it's a game, man. Right. Like, I'm trying to keep the game board clean because that's very important to me. And I don't want to see, and this is, I had this argument with someone, why are you trying to get fire hydrants removed? Right. I don't want someone's house to be on fire mm-hmm. and a fire truck to pull up and there's seven people doing a raid and then the fire truck's like oh guys get out of the way and then now you're wasting 10 or 15 seconds clearing all the people away right so that they can hook yep. up that 15 seconds could be someone could die it absolutely. could be the difference between life and death and chris is it e- even before you go there if it shouldn't be in the game it shouldn't be in the game it's simple exactly. as that yeah exactly exactly Right. And it's, and that's coming from the need more stops guy. Right. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I'm the need more stops yeah. guy. I'm the what's a few meters between friends. But it's yep. like, come on, people like if if and yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I'm going to get I, worked up. I am very I'm very much like the need more stops guy, too. Like I need. I've gone and I, you know, you put pins in certain places to make them appear in certain games, just but legitimately. Right. You don't take something that's on the other side of town and put it. Right. That's okay. That's that's a oh, hold on. We'll, we'll dedicate a whole show to abuse. I don't want to get down that <laughs> rabbit hole. But if I'm like, so I put on the forums, I see that you rejected two of my reports. Here's five more, seven mm-hmm. of them in total. Right. But like, if someone figures out in this local town, figures out that that's, that's me, then do I have to worry about my safety? Right. So I don't think that the forums are a good place to have that. They've created this yeah, that's form. A good point. I hadn't thought They've of it. They've created that this way. form for abuse reports, right? They need to have this form for waste spot removals as well. Mm-hmm. Just for the general safety of the general public, because I like I don't care. I'm a big guy. Like I can I can take care right. of myself, and I know enough people in this town that I'm not necessarily that worried. But plus plus, if they do rem- remove all these fire hydrants, I have stuff in those cells to that'll take over for them. So it's not right. we're not going to lose we're, anything. Remove and replace. Remove and replace. Right. But <clears throat> I, I shouldn't have to worry about reporting stuff that you're going to get bullied or targeted or people are going to people are going to try to dox you and and then i shouldn't go through all this effort of reporting stuff that you are just screaming at everyone because i guarantee you if you try and and submit a painted fire hydrant right now it will get rejected Mm -hmm. yep and if i were to appeal it they would reject it so you want some explanations right i want some explanations yes this is what you want to know i want to know I, can you please come out and say are fire hydrants blocking emergency services or not? And right. if they this are, is what you, this is what you want to know, Chris. I'll explain. Okay, explain. Yeah, that's what you want to hear. You, you got you some, hear explaining some explaining. To do. You want to hear some explaining from Niantic? This is what you want again. I'll explain. Yeah. Okay, explain. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, two two things that we want from Niantic. We're going to wrap up. I'm going to take a break in a second. So. Two things that the way spotters Jamal and myself want from Niantic yes. out of this episode. One, a statement on the challenge rewards. Just something that mm-hmm. says, we've seen this, we've looked into it, we're investigating it. Even if you had come out and say, hey, we acknowledge this, and we're looking into it, cool. Two, reviews reports and stuff like it need I, it needs to be better you guys have to be better about this because if i'm reporting stuff or i'm going out and doing the things that you ask me to do and then i submit an appeal and i wait nine months for my appeal only for you to be not even follow your own rules right right it's right. tighten the ship tighten the tighten ship it when it comes to the stuff that you guys review because stop using Johnny down the hall stop using bots having an yeah. actual somebody who's trained in Wayfair to do it because remember yeah. they told us back in December they were doing a what do they call it not an AB test but a black test a, remember they had some term they said that they were doing that they had cleaned up all this stuff continue to use those people anyways yeah yeah, yeah. 
so yeah i think that's uh i think that was pretty heavy so we got a little fired up on that didn't we yes yeah i'm very (laughs) fired up and i'm probably still gonna be fired up when we go to new york (laughs) i know right (laughs) watch out (laughs) um in new in in new york chris remember in new york you're gonna hear this i'll explain okay explain I'm gonna use that too. I'm gonna to walk up when we meet them. Like, you guys got some explaining to do. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> Hopefully, they answer us by then. And if they don't, yeah. then I yep. uh, we will hold them to account when we meet them. Yes, so. we will. Yes, we will. All right, you ready for a break? Let's go to break, man. Let's go to break. I need to uh, refill. So I've been. Um, well, I, you know what? They're not sponsoring us, so I'm not going to show what I'm drinking. <laughs> but I've been drinking this beverage here, and I need to go get a new one. It's delicious. Hashtag should sponsor us. That's what we need. We need an official beverage of the Waste Spotters podcast. Yes. Yes, we do. I'll work on that. You do. We do. Yeah, we need We need to. I'll start reaching out. So right when you came on the show, before we go to break, right when you came on the show, I reached out to Liquid Death Mountain Water. Ooh, and I pitched yes. them. And I pitched them um, that they could sponsor all the podcasts. They could get like a four for one, right? Mm-hmm. I pitched it to them. And someone actually emailed me back and, and wanted the links to all the podcasts. So I sent them the links to all the podcasts and then I haven't heard back from them. So um, I need to reach back out to them because mm-hmm. we, we we need a official beverage sponsor of the way. So, hey, advertisers out there, if you're listening or watching this right now, you could be the official beverage sponsor of the Waste Spotters podcast, and we drink this beverage whenever we go out and we nominate. We drink this beverage when we are reviewing. You are the official yes. beverage sponsor of the Waste Spotters podcast, and all of the Wayfinders and all the Explorers are buying and drinking your beverage because we asked them to. Look at that. I just cut a That's promo awesome. right there. We just I need to it. insert the name of the beverage person. So. <laughs> all right, Perfect. Break, then. I'm ready for break. All right. We're going to take a break, play some dad jokes, and then we'll see you on the other side. I had a dream last night that I weighed like a thousandth of a gram. I was like, oh, MG. At first, I thought my chiropractor wasn't any good, but now I stand corrected. Now, I can tolerate algebra, maybe even a little calculus, but geometry, that's where I draw the line. I was wondering why the baseball kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it hit me. I'm finally watching that documentary about clocks. It was about time. My wife is mad at me. She asked me to sink her phone, walked onto the beach, threw it in the ocean. We were having a cookout, and my friends asked me to put ketchup on the grocery list. Now I can't see what else is on there. All right, welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the dad jokes this week. They were great. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into waste spot of the week. Right, <clears throat> waste spot of the week. Are you taking this one? Or you want me to take this one? Uh, I'm gonna take this one. All right, let's go. All right, bring it up. Here we go. All right, waste spot of the week. This week comes to us from Agent X in the Pokemon Professor Network Discord. Uh, they heard us talking about two-story murals last week, and he posted a couple of things and say, hey, I, what about uh, six-story sculptures and <laughs> ten-story murals? And I was like, oh, my God, you're my new best friend. Yes. Love it. So love it, love I, it, love it. I picked the, the six-story sculpture. So what we're looking at is it looks like the side, the corner of a building, um, you can see on the right hand side, it's like a staircase. So it's the outside of a staircase going up mm-hmm. the side of a building. It's probably a parking garage. I think it's a parking garage. That I kind of got the parking garage vibes from that also. It just looks, yeah. And it kind of looks like a parking garage that might be like a medical building or a hospital. That's kind of what Yes. I yeah. They have something similar um, at the train stations here on the main, mm-hmm. the main lines. Um, so it what we're looking at is on the side of one of the of the the staircase it's all concrete and it looks like there's there's people climbing up the side of the building going to a metal sphere in the middle that kind of looks like a merry-go-round I was going to say a sundial but I can see merry-go-round also Yeah it could be a sundial too yeah um 
it it's just super cool because you've got a bunch of people there's like 15 or 10 or 15 little black uh sculptures of people climbing up the side of the building and then the ones that are above the metal thing are climbing down to it so they're all trying to climb onto it it is super cool um it's called pale blue dot and it's by studio capacitor this art piece was inspired by the metaphor of a universal watering hole in a photograph taken by Voyager 1 of Earth in 1994, and it was installed in 2022. So this is super cool. I, I, as soon as you posted this, I was like, yep, that is Waste Spot of the Week for sure this week because it's so great. It's great. I love it. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it throws you off a little bit because if this was flat and you saw the people on there, it would make sense. But the fact that this is... This is uh, vertical and not horizontal. And there's people, and in in, in, if you're standing next to it, it's kind of giving you that 3D vibe of somebody kind of mm -hmm. hanging on the building. Like I really like it a lot. That's yeah. Agent yeah. X is is always good for finding good things like that. So big, yeah, big fan of that. Super, super cool. Yep. One thing, Chris, on Waste Spot of the Week, uh, we had a feature of Ponzi from the Georgia uh, Wayfair Sea Princesses Discord. And uh, they reached out to us and thanked us for featuring them. And nice. if you go into that Discord, they have given us a few other suggestions and submissions for potential Waste Spot of the Week. So we're starting to gain a little traction in some other Discords other than ours. So nice. shout out to Sea Princess. We're still looking for you to send us a time where you can come back and join us. Um, mm -hmm. But your Discord is sending us several really good nominations. Um, and there was one in there that I'm going to try to work into rotation uh, coming up soon. I can't promise when we'll have it on, but it was a really good supporting photo um, that goes along with the Waste Spot of the Week. So um, nice. you guys are really inundating us with really good uh, suggestions. So continue to do it. Love me a good supporting photo. Yes. All right. Let's go to Coal of the Week. Let's play the sounder for Coal of the Week. I've been working on the way there all the live long day. I've been working on the way there just to pass the... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, Jamal, I found some coal. All right. Okay. So this one, this coal of the week, everybody, I believe comes to us from Karen. Then, oh, Karen the Nameless. I was, I was trying to pronounce that. I was thinking this is a Greek name. So right. it comes to us from Catherine the Nameless in the Facebook group. Right. Shout out to the uh, Wayfair Facebook group. Uh, you guys rock. Lots of yes. conversation going on in there. Chris and I have been dipping our toes toes into that pool. Um, and shout out to a couple of my new Pokemon Go friends from that group who've been sending me gifts. Um, anyways, this one here, as we have it up on the screen, the title and the description read Farm WN Chrismo. Uh, cattle farm and Christmas main source of work in the area. And what we are looking at is, you guessed it. How did they know this in the Facebook? They listened to the show, Chris. <laughs> they listened to the show because they posted this. It's a whole bunch of live animals. And it is fantastic. So it's exactly what you would think. It's a picture of a cattle farm inside of one of the holding pens. To the upper right, you can see the door where the cattle go out. And it's it's just the backsides of eight to ten really big pieces of cattle. It's amazing. I love it, but it's cold nonetheless. I'm trying to figure out in the description what they were trying to say there. Farm W N Chris Mill. I'm trying to figure out is that farm on Chris Mill? Farm in Chris Mill. I don't, I don't know, know what they were trying to say there. I've been racking my brain as I look at that, but it's cold. It is coal, 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 and it's a live animal, live animal, live animal. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure that out, too, because, like, the W is nowhere near the I or the O. Right, uh, yeah, know, and I'm kind of like, like what were they trying to say? So, I don't, I don't know. know. Yep, I don't know. I don't know. 
All right. That's awesome. That's coal number one. All right. Coal number two. Coal number two is more of a description than anything. And this comes to us from Jenna Friday in the same group, Facebook group. So I pulled both from the Facebook group this week. Um, shout out to you guys. I put a post in there asking for some stuff that was coal and oh boy, they delivered. <laughs> yes, they did <laughs> in a big way. There's, there's a treasure. We could have had like them. nine. We could have had like yeah. nine coals this week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll try and work them all into the rotation as best as we can. Um, but this one, the description is Tibet Playground, which playgrounds eligible. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is the description that they put in that I wanted to highlight, and I'm going to read it to you for you. And the supporting information is even better. Um, okay. I am actually asking if you can change this from a gym to a regular pokey stop. The reason being is because you have four to five individuals that all live nearby and communicate amongst themselves to constantly hold this gym. They bully other trainers out. Wow. That's yeah. a lot to unpack yeah. there. Okay. So, okay. Tell me you don't know anything about Wayfair without actually <laughs> not telling me you don't know anything about Wayfair. Exactly. Like, um, it's not often that you're just like, I would like you to to unupgrade this from right, a gym. Exactly. To be like, so the supporting information, it cuts off at the top, but it says, additionally, once you take them out of the gym, within three hours, they retake over the gym. This now create an unfair advantage in this game because now they constantly get coins every day. Make the game fair or give me 50 coins every day for free for putting up with this abuse. Wait a minute. Shouldn't this be on Twitter? This is a Twitter. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this was meant absolutely. for Twitter, not Facebook. Yep. Oh, 100%. Man. That is I, fantastic. Um, when I have send fun out this with call, that. Yeah, yeah, when I send out this call that. on Twitter on, uh, I think this will be Wednesday, I'm going to say this call is made direct best for Twitter. Yes, that that's that's fantastic. So, oh boy, man, good show, man. Good show today. Good, good show. I had a lot of fun. That was good, yeah. So... <laughs> Anything else? Uh, anything else before we sign off? I got nothing else that won't derail us for fifteen to twenty minutes, so we'll save it for next week. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'll go ahead and sign us off. Thank you for listening to this episode of Waste Spotters. We really appreciate it. A big shout out to our executive producer, Kate at the Cons. Thank you very much, and to all of our patrons. We couldn't do this without you. Love interacting with you guys in the in the Patreon Discord. Uh, now, if you enjoy what you hear, there are a few ways that you can show us. You can follow us on our socials. We are on Twitter, speaking of Twitter, at Wayspotters. We are also on Instagram, at Wayspotters Podcast. We are on TikTok, at I Make Wayspots. We have five or six, sometimes seven TikToks a week. So make sure you go and follow us there. We are incredibly responsive. We love interacting with our listeners and our viewers. So hit us up. We will definitely get back to you. Second, visit our website, www.wastespotters.com. From there, you can get links to everywhere you can download the show. You can also send us a message directly from the website or email us at wastespotters at pokemonprofessor.com. Some of you may be listening, watching this on YouTube. If you're not, please visit our YouTube page. We are up over 100 subscribers now, so woo, we did it. Um, we would love to have more. So go out there, check out our videos, check out our shorts. You could also leave us a voicemail on our hotline, 704-426-3710. We may play your voicemail on the show. You can also tweet us a voice message. Twitter has that capability, so we would love to hear from you. And finally, if you are not a member of the Pokemon Professor Network Patreon, you can join us for as little as $1 a month. That's about a buck 35 Canadian right now. All you need to do, do is go to patreon.com slash Pokemon Professor. You'll have access to the Discord for the entire family of shows across the network, including Waste Spotters, Special Conditions, Gotta Watch Them All, Purified Podcast, and Lured Up. It's a fantastic place filled with fantastic people. It is very active, and Jamal and I are in there almost constantly. 
with that, we look forward to you listening and watching us again next week. Thank you for joining us here on Wave Spotters. If you're on YouTube, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and remember, it's not that far. Get out of your car. <laughs>